John Rahm, second shot at three. Like seeing him hold that pose, David. Yeah. Just beats the slope there, and that's beautiful. Dom, you watch Cam. Yeah. Took a bit more aggressive line, narrow part of the fairway. Yeah. You know, there's just a, a big segment of the golf population that roots for a story like Blandy, and he's awesome. That was some trophy he won as well. Three and a half feet tall, the born trophy for the senior PGA champion. Beautifully done by Brooks Kepka. David earlier, he's not really feeling the pressure. He's more excited to play in front of the home crowd. It's looking good. Yeah, lovely gentle rhythm there with the short iron. Fermi, second shot of the third. Beautiful. 14th tee in Anur Bandahiri. He liked it. I guess he did. A few moments ago, Danny Lee for Eagle at 12. You can see on the pylon, he's already to under par, and that is how he did it. Hi, Danny. Yeah, there's just a little dirt on it, David. Yeah, not, just not enough to make any difference. I don't think so. Eh? No. This is looking pretty good, too. It was a late decision. Oh, very, very good. Oh. Well, liked. Majestics fans, there's a little bit of early cheer for you here. The team are three under par and a tie for third place at the moment. Sam Horsfield is nosing from here in Houston. Elsewhere, Kieran Vincent went on the Sunshine Tour in South Africa uh, last week. That was his second shot at 11. Matt Jones is on the tee at seven, member of the Ripper GC Quartet, who are attempting to go three straight here. Also one of the five players in the field who have won previously on the PGA Tour on this very golf course. Thank you. For Eagle, this was earlier, and 13. Well, he's got a stable of 22 racehorses. Charles Al the third is missing for the Crushers here in Houston. He's got a, a hairline fracture in his leg. So John Catlin is in. And elsewhere here in Houston, and another really good start for Waco Neiman. This is his second shot into the fifth hole, the captain of Torquay GC. Sam Horsfield for birdie at 15. Maybe the Majestics are showing signs of improvement in round one, and Horsfield rolls it in. He's two under par. Here's Kevin Na. Just 106 yards left at the first. Ooh. There's not flat, David. Answer was, of course, victorious in a playoff in Hong Kong. He is sixth in the Live Golf League. But he's struggling early on here. He bogeyed three of his opening four holes, but there's an opportunity individually. He helped the cliques to the podium for the first time this season in Singapore. This for birdie at two, and he is one. Two-time major champion Martin Keimer teed off earlier at 14 in our shotgun start. This is his second shot at the par four first. He would make birdie there. That would help his team, the cliques to get one back. Scott Vincent needs every point, just like his brother Kieran Vincent. They are in the drop zone right now. And that's his tee shot at 14, so very opportunity. John Rahm. John Rahm a little earlier at the eighth. A good try. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dean Burmester. The long par three ninth. Oh, another magnificent shot. And Martin Keimer playing his second at the third hole from just 120 yards. Wafted wedge. Ball's not spinning back today. A little surprising, I think. First look at Charles Schwartzel today for Eagle at 13. And the South African pops that one in. Lower reaches of the Live Golf League at the halfway stage last year and then just went on an absolute tear and finished 20th in the end and that guaranteed his spot for this I year. How about that? that? <laughs> Come on, 
Got enough. Oh, that's a beauty. What a shot with the driver. Knocks it in there about 15 feet. But they've subsequently slipped back to nine under and a three-way tie with the cliques and the Ironheads. Kali Samoya. At number six, he knocks one in stone dead. This was Sebastian Munoz at the 17th. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Well, it was a birdie. Ironheads captain Kevin Na on the T at seven. Just 163 today, tucked hole location. Front right corner. That is good, Kevin. That was how the third, he's level par. That was for birdie at one. Cameron Tringale of the High Flyers has watched his teammate Brendan Steele win an individual title and he thinks, well, I fancy some of that. And from the front edge of the sixth green middle, Pereira for birdie. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh! Chinichiro Kazuma, his second and three, off to a decent start earlier. Falling back to one under. That'll help. Yeah. David Pooj, second shot at 12. He has laid it up off the tee. Waco on the tee at 14. Seeking a third victory of the season. Right at the flag, a beautiful shot. But he is one over par, not counting so far today. He's second of 40. You know what he thinks on a simple little chip like this. Ah, oh, oh, yeah. Fabulous from Cam Smith. He's back to level par. Chikara at seven. Oh. Oh, oh. Carlos Ortiz, his second, just in the light. First cut of rough at 18. Pretty aggressive tee shot, all things considered. Only 150 in. Make it a tough hole look routine. His second shot at the first. Gang to get ready to play. This is Matt Jones at 18 from off the green for birdie. Uh huh. Well, David Pooj uh, birdied four consecutive holes between one and four, then uh, a bogey at five, and he's bounced back with yet another birdie at six. So David Pooj gets it back to uh, three under par. The invincibility of youth. I love it. That's Maronk. Uh huh. Kevin Na playing the 11th hole, his second shot. Go! Go! Chikara on the eighth green. Very nice, a birdie. Tyrrell Hatton is on the tee at 14. He's grinding out, decent round. Started poorly, two over par before he could blink. Yeah. Yeah, a great shot there. Yeah. Stone ages, as my son calls it. Long iron here for Dustin. Medium iron. Swing from the big man. Kevin's teammate, Danny Lee, who won in Tucson in a playoff, a spectacular a birdie putt from off the green to take victory. This is a moment ago, Brooks Kepka with his third shot at 15. And a 
stone dead, he would knock that one in. Second shot at the third for Charles Schwartzel. seen a great deal of Mark Leishman so far today. This is his second shot at 14. He is four under par. And Ripper GC have made a move and that helps enormously. Well, it's quite a story that's developing here in Houston with 19-year-old Caleb Surratt in the lead by two. Now then, can Martin Keimer cut that lead to one? Yes, for birdie at 11. Yeah. Yes, he can. Aaron Vincent, that's for his third straight birdie out of six. You mentioned he won on the Sunshine Tour. I love the sponsor of the event that he won. It's the Kit Kat Cash and Carry Pro Am. Yeah, he drove it into the uh, left bunker, and that ball just caught a lot of speed. But that is a great save. Just a moment ago, Anurban Ahiri for birdie at ten. Right in the center. Ian Poulter, his second shot at three. The Majestic's holding steady on eight under par, but they've slipped to eighth place and a tie with the Ironheads. Mm. Right, very nice. David Pooge, second shot at ten. So I am third on that international series order of merit. But uh, well down. This round will end at the second. Hey. Oh, Charles Walsall to save par at four. Have to call this an outside chance. Yes. <laughs> oh. yes. No problem. He stays at three under. Moments ago, Dom, Cam Smith at one. Yeah, and you know what? I went to remove the stake on uh, from from near his ball, and I dropped the stake, and the rope hit his ball, and it buried his lie a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad he hit a good one. Yeah, he sure did. You should try doing that again. This is Paul Casey, his second shot of the third. Oh, yes. 